is the Diablo 4 endgame boring? This is a criticism that I think is getting a lot more common recently, and mm -hmm. I want to share my thoughts on it for anybody who's willing to listen to little old me. And before we engage the IQ accelerators and go giga brain on this, I want to first acknowledge that Endgame isn't the same for everybody. For some, it's when they finish the campaign. Yep. For others, it's when they get into tier four. And for me, it was when I hit level 100. I, I understand that. Oh, wow. That, He's level 100. Okay, all right. This, this guy plays video, the game. We're going to be talking about for when most players, they move into the gameplay loop of Nightmare Dungeons mm -hmm. and Helltides. And they just cycle between those two and how that's tedious. Now, my first yeah. thought is... I feel like most people are putting too much of an expectation on this version of Diablo 4. And what I mean is like this is the most vanilla the game is going to ever be. It's also the shortest version of the game we'll ever have as well because if you know from the launch of the game to the first season it's we're going to be a month and a half basically. Yeah. A maximum of 2 months. That is half the size of a full season. So I think it's safe to then say the intention was never for people to get really far into the you know, end game and start grinding the absolute shit out of the dungeons and the hell tides like gamers on crack because i mean i don't agree with that there's no way that they can bring out a game and then blame the player like, well you guys weren't supposed to play it oh you don't like it yeah well you weren't supposed to play it well <laughs> why the fuck do you think people bought it they had a yeah, race to 100. People, this, this really illustrated the point for me. Most players in the game, and this was verified by the devs themselves in the campfire chat, um, haven't finished as the of campaign. like a couple of days yeah. ago, hadn't even finished the campaign. And he's right about this. Is that, and, and I completely agree with him that it doesn't, like, doing the, uh, like, 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 making sure that you have the end game be good is not that important. Like, it is not as important as making sure the early game is good. So they should fix the early game first, and they should fix the mid game first. The end game should be an afterthought, or not should not an afterthought, but on priority, it should be not as important as the early game or the mid game. Because if the early game's bad, nobody's going to make it to the mid game, and if the mid game's bad, nobody's going to make it to the end game. So if you can't get that to work, it doesn't really matter how great your end game is. So. You know, those those players are not going to get that far into this kind of like grindy mm -hmm. cycle of gameplay until right near the end of the two months and probably won't experience as much tedium as like players like myself. Yeah, that's and probably true. That was, that was really my first thought. I feel like it's too soon to say. We need to see what the first season is going to be like because I think that'll be the introduction of the. My perspective is that Blizzard talks about, oh, well, we have to develop things in advance, bro. Like, I'm giving my feedback right now because they try to pull that two week shit about console fucking approval. No, no, nah, man. We want to be talking about this now. Let's talk about this right now. That way we don't have to wait two more weeks whenever the season comes out for it to be bad. First, like, highly repeat. Yeah, I, I think that we should be immediately giving feedback. Instantaneously. Uh, end game content. Could be wrong. Might end up eating shit on that take, but we'll see, won't we? We'll see very soon. My second, and this is kind of a cop-out, but, you know, this applies uh -huh. to not just this game, but every game, and that is... I feel like a lot of the players I've spoken to personally just hit their goals. And now they're blaming. Yeah, that's right. Actually, my goal was to hit 100. But I don't feel like I'm being rewarded enough in the game so far to be motivated to keep leveling to 100. Like, I'll do it again. Sure, I'll do it. I'll do it eventually over time. I'll level like one level a day, two levels a day, and I'll hit 100. But I'm not excited about it. Like, I'm effectively giving up because hitting my goal isn't exciting. Aim in the game for the lack of direction they have um, with their, like, character development or playing the game. And this happens to me a lot, so I can really relate to this one. And it's, mm -hmm. for me, uh, for this for this game, I actually had it happen. It was, I wanted to get to level 100, and I did it. There it I is. I blasted to level 100, and I was like, right, I'm done. Nice. And I was nice. lost. I didn't know what to do. And the next day or two Quit. after hitting that goal, I was bored. I, I didn't feel much enjoyment from playing yeah. the game. I was like, well, I really have done everything I wanted to do. But I took a second to think about it. I was like, you know what? I haven't done Uber Lilith. I'm going to I'm gonna sit down. I'm going to get this done. 
since having set myself that new goal, I, I, I feel like I'm back on week one. I wake up, I'm excited to <laughs> play the game, and I, I'm more than willing to grind a dungeon for eight hours for pieces of gear that I feel like I need to do that fight. And I, 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 I would be if I had any sort of a way to target those items. I want to be able to farm for eight hours, but I don't want to just sit there and pull the lever on a slot machine for eight hours feel like yeah a lot of the players i talk to again they're just not they've not done that for themselves they've hit tier four and they went, i'm done i'm done sure. um game's yeah. boring i don't want to do anything else and they could fix that by setting themselves a new goal now this this sounds like it sounds stupid because it's not like you need a 10 point plan to play a fucking game but it can really help you get more enjoyment from it well i i think that really what he's saying is true but what you have to keep in mind is that a lot of people like it's what he said earlier they met their goals their goal was to get their character up to where it can clear tier 4 content, and they did that by level 75. And they don't want to refarm the same item with a slightly higher secondary roll, like just completely randomly. It's not fun. But if you don't want to do that, or if you really have achieved the, the mm -hmm. goals you, you set yourself out to uh, achieve, yeah. then congratulations. You've completed the season. Like you, you've you done true. what you wanted to do. Go watch some anime. Uh, he's, he's right about this too. That at a certain point, it's okay to stop playing the game. It's okay. For me, here's the way I feel. I think the gameplay for Diablo 4 is really fun. And I wish there were more reasons for me to play the game. I'm enjoying it a lot. I wish there were more things for me to farm. But what the fuck? Like, am I just going to keep farming to get like 23% vulnerability instead of 21? What's your four content to you, though? Level 40 Nightmare Dungeons. You can say most of the games have been around for 10 years. You finish campaign, do a few dungeons and done. Bro, if you are doing a tier 50 Nightmare Dungeon, you are probably in the 1% of the player base, if not the 0.1%. What are we talking about? Anime, go watch a show, I don't know. Go hang out, touch grass, man, and come back next season and then, you know, achieve the same goal mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, set a slightly higher one for yourself. Um, you know, do the new content, the new challenges. But, you know, it's not the game's fault that you finish doing what you want to do in the game. Um, it is. Uh, I disagree with this. Uh, I think it's absolutely the game's fault. Uh, if the game makes it to where achieving your goal doesn't feel good, and whenever you do something in the game and you finally get your gear, and you're like, now what? I want to play more, but there's no content. There's nothing for me to do except for refarm the same gear with a slightly higher number. What the fuck, man? So yeah, I absolutely think so. I thought you liked if the game had an endpoint. I do like if the game had an end point, but not all end points are created equal. Yes, this game does have an end point. I just don't like where it ends. Is that hard to understand? But, you know, um, that, that's kind of, uh, that, that, that's kind of a lot of gray area on that one. But again, mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's a really important point to bring up. But that really is it. I just have those two main thoughts on it. As always, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah. If you like the video, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Well, thanks for watching. Peace. I think this is fair. I mean, a lot of things he was saying about setting goals are definitely true. Uh, I also think that we shouldn't make excuses for people hitting their plateau of best in slot within such an early time in the game. Like, yes, obviously you can get a little bit better, but is it really going to be that much better? I don't think so. Blaming themselves while the end game sucks. Yeah, it's not the player's fault. Like, it's not like I played, you've got to keep in mind, I played Diablo 3 for thousands of hours. I got Paragon 100 in Diablo 3. Inside of just this most recent season in Path of Exile, I played hundreds of hours. In Diablo 4, I'm struggling to do that because the goals just aren't there yet. And again, PoE has been out for years, and I, I understand it takes time for this to happen, but I'm giving my feedback now because that is where I want the game to go. I know that it's not going to be perfect on season one, and I don't think it's ever going to be perfect, but I just want to see more end game content. I want to see some of the early game cleaned up for some of the classes, and I just want to see some quality of life features added. Like, get rid of the pointless fucking barricades that skeletons have for you.
Like that's not a, go a goal in in the game for me is to make sure that 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 that, that, that happens. Do you think the game needs a gear system, gear crafting system that's not as complex as the PoE one? If the PoE gear crafting system is a 10, I think that Diablo needs a crafting system that's as complex as a 3. And by the way, that's still pretty complex. Pandering to casuals ruined this game. What? When was it good? Like, uh, I, I think pandering to casuals is the reason why the game exists. If you are a hardcore ARPG player, you will probably never get more fulfillment out of Diablo than you will out of PoE. And I think the developers of Diablo know that, and that's okay. Uh, the devs nerfing every method of experience the community finds is really frustrating. Well, what they need to do, leveling up, the, the best way to level up should not, like, okay. So this is the problem. So reward and difficulty. The difficulty goes up like this, but the reward goes up like this. I guess, you know, I'll probably just... There. So that's what the issue is. It's that we need to have things that are rewarding up here. Whereas what it should be, is it should be, these should be hand in hand. And this is why PoE works. And this is why Classic WoW works. Is that the harder content gives better gear. It's why Burning Crusade worked. It's because the harder content gave better gear. You should never be... You, the meta for leveling should never be spamming the easy mode instances where you two-shot elites. That is garbage. The meta should be pushing high-tier nightmare dungeons or pushing nightmare dungeons at an efficiency rate that is best for your character. People want to do stuff and progress. They find shortcuts and get mad whenever it gets fixed. I actually don't think that Blizzard is wrong for fixing the elite changes or fixing uh, the experience farming. I actually don't think so. I think Blizzard is totally fine doing that, but none of those things would even be happening if the leveling in the high tier nightmare dungeons was fun and it was rewarding and it's not. They say they're going to do it, but when's that going to happen? Uh, nightmare Dungeons need to be fun. Currently, the mechanics uh, limit and inconvenience uh, the more you alter gameplay in a fun way. Yeah, I think that they could improve as well, definitely. But yeah, I mean, again, uh, I, I want to make sure I, I keep re-emphasizing this. Let me link this guy's video again. Uh, I, I'm Even though like some of these things I disagreed with what he said, uh, I, I really appreciate people coming and, and just talking about the game and just like giving feedback and like having conversations about it. So I'm going to give this video a like. He's only got 5,000 subs. I'll, I'll give him a sub too. So like, yeah, just more people talking about it and, uh, you know, giving feedback and, and opinions. I think that's really important. The glyph system is a joke too. You get a certain point. We have 10 dungeons for 1% damage increase. Uh, yeah, I'm not at that point yet, but yeah, sure. Do you expect PoE2 to have similar problems? I expect PoE2 to have problems, yes. Will they be as pronounced as these problems? I don't think so. Because PoE 2 is going to be like Overwatch 2 in a way. Where a lot of the things from Overwatch 1 get ported over to Overwatch 2. And I think that Chris Wilson is like, they're effectively... Like what we got in like Sanctum, for example. And what we're getting in Crucible now. I bet that's pretty much what PoE 2 is going to be kind of like. In terms of a lot of graphics. Just like the style of it and everything like that. I think we're already getting content for PoE 2. So I don't think PoE 2 is going to be like this massive, you know, Diablo 3 to Diablo 4 shift. I think that PoE 2 is just going to be a massive update, an overhaul to a number of really big systems. Like think about putting, PoE 2 is going to be like they put three expansions together into one and the graphics are better. Chris Wilson is a legend. Uh, he came on Allcraft. Uh, we answered all the questions. Uh, I, I, I think Chris Wilson's great. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say about that. How confident are you that these issues will get resolved? If you want me to be honest, I think I'm like 90% confident that Blizzard is going to resolve these issues. The Diablo team has done a lot and they have listened to a lot of feedback and they've made a lot of really good changes. I think it's, it's just a matter of when. That's what I'm worried about is when. Yeah, I think they've been very interactive. Yeah, I, I think that they're going to fix it. Like, for example, like in, in WoW, like, I don't think they're going to fix the problems in WoW. I just don't care. Like, yeah, I, I don't give a shit. Like, they're going to do whatever they're going to do and that's it. Like, they're never going to actually fix the game or make it better. So, who cares? I don't really give feedback for that game that much. So, yeah.